Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video in calculating the Cooter Richardson 20 test of internal consistency using SPSS. The Cooter Richardson 20, or KR20, is a measure of internal consistency when the items of interest are measured at the dichotomous level. So taking a look at these fictitious data loaded in the data view in SPSS, you can see I have 20 participants in the ID variable, and then I have five items. And each item contains either a zero or a one as a possible entry for the various participants. So let's presume that all five of these items we hope are related to measuring a construct of interest to counseling researchers. So let's say that they're all designed to measure depression. And we want to analyze these items and see how well they hold together. Now it's important to note that the KR20 will not provide us any information regarding whether we have accurately labeled the construct, like in this case we're interested in depression, but the results will not help us to confirm or deny that. The results will simply indicate how well the items hold together. That is the level of internal consistency. So if I move up here to the A1 icon, you can see I've labeled the zeros and ones true and false. Zero equals false and one equals true. So to run KR20 we're going to go to Analyze, Scale, Reliability Analysis, and you can see I have the ID and then the five, five items. I'm just going to hit Control A and then Unselect ID it's a little faster and move all the items over into the items list box. Notice there are several choices for model. We're going to uh, stick with the default, uh, which is alpha. And then under statistics, uh, descriptives for, we're going to check off item scale and scale if item deleted, as well as inter item correlations. And we are not going to select any of the choices from summaries or ANOVA table or any of the choices below those. So we'll just click continue. And now it's ready to run. We'll click OK. And we can see we have 20 valid cases. And you can see from the reliability statistics, Chromebooks Alpha's report is 0.738. So what's of interest here is that you can see from the dialog to run this reliability analysis, there was no option for KR20. That's because when running the uh, procedure for Chromebooks Alpha, when using all dichotomous variables, uh, gives us the same result. So the procedure for conducting KR20 is the same as Chromebooks Alpha except for the variables are dichotomous. So we would interpret this value, Chromebooks Alpha, as the KR20 value. Same thing. So 0.738 and the same cutoff supply as well. So anything above 0.7 is acceptable. Anything, anything above 0.8 is good. So now as we move down, we can see item statistics. We have the mean for each item and the standard deviation as well as the sample size. In this case, of course, it's 20 for each one. And then looking at the inter-item correlation matrix, what we're looking for here is any of the items correlation values that are below 0.3. And we can see that a lot of these values are above 0.3, but item 3 here seems to stand out, uh, 0.179. So a small positive correlation, then negative 0 0.01, negative 0 0.058, and 0 0.05. And usually we just refer to these three values 
since they're so close to zero as indicating no real correlation. So item three doesn't seem to have any strong relationships with the other items and almost no relationship with items two, four, and five. So this is an indication that item three might not be holding together too well with the other items. Clearly it's not, but this is looking at the correlation matrix. Can we find out if this is the case by looking at the item total statistics? So we move down to the, this uh, item total statistics table. Before we evaluate the Chromebooks Alpha if an item is deleted, we want to make sure we take a look and remind ourselves of what the Chromebooks Alpha value is right now. So using all five items, it's 0.738. So if we delete an item and it goes below that, we've decreased the internal consistency. And if we delete an item and it goes above this value, we've increased the internal consistency. So you can see if we delete item one, we'll decrease the internal consistency and the same thing for items two, four, and five. So they should stay in, but looking at item three, if we were to delete item three from this analysis, Chromebooks Alpha would increase from 0.738 to 0.854. So by evaluating the inter-item correlation matrix and the item total statistics, uh, specifically the Chromebooks alpha if item deleted column, in this case, we would likely remove item three and use the other four items or perhaps add different items and rerun this analysis. I hope you found this video on conducting KR20 test of internal consistency using SPSS to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.